understandably the fans are very disappointed by the relegation last season and I think it was also the manner in which the Swans got relegated last season because um, when Carvajal came in he turned us around completely and we actually started playing and uh, we played very good for three months or so it was all working very well getting big results against Arsenal and Liverpool and um, at the end of March then I think we were about 13th position before falling away right when we needed the points um, which saw Southampton leak progress and it was that very important away win for them at the Liberty that sort of cost us our place in the Premier League I think the fans at the same time are quite excited for this season because it gives us a chance to rebuild the squad and um, maybe um, find our roots again and uh, play the Swansea way which is an expression used by the Swansea fans to uh, describe possession, high pressure, attacking football which uh, the Swans were famous for playing back from probably about 2010 on to about 2015 as we uh, marched up the divisions. It was an amazing cup run in 2013 which saw Swansea win their first major trophy in English football. Uh, we beat a lot of big teams on the way, uh, beat Liverpool at Anfield, uh, beat Chelsea over two legs as well and then uh, winning 5-0 in the final. That's really the pinnacle of Swansea uh, in my time anyway, winning that cup. That's the best I can remember the Swans ever playing under Michael Loudrop with Michu, De Guzman, Pablo Hernandez. We had some team back then playing really attacking football and uh, I just wish those days could come back soon. Well, I wouldn't imagine the cup to be a priority for Graham Potter on Swansea City. Um, obviously, being a championship side, it's quite unrealistic that the Swans make a deep run into this competition um, with the amount of fixtures that we have coming up. But um, obviously, a cup run would be nice. Every club would love a cup run. But obviously, the main priority for Potter would be to uh, secure a playoff place or even an automatic promotion place as the Swans look to bounce back to the Premier League on the first time of asking. Jordan Ayew is a player who works very hard for the team. At least he did for us last season, put a lot of hard yards in and he was one of the most foul players in the Premier League last season. Uh, he's constantly looking to run up players and uh, he's very skillful on the ball with a lot of flair. You might not see a lot of goals from him, his end product isn't brilliant. He was our top goal scorer last season, but uh, under you I think he could flourish. He's the kind of player that I think will suit Palace very well, got a lot of flair. And I think in an attacking system like yours, he could do very, very well. I think the most notable one of the lot would be Oliver McBurney, our top goal scorer. Uh, he scored three and five in the championship, and he's a real handful for um, defenders. He, he's not the quickest and he's not the strongest, but he's a right nuisance. He gets on the toes, he works very hard, and he's got great aerial ability. And with the wingers we got, they like to get down the line and cross the ball. Jeff Montero on the left hand side, he's a tricky winger who likes to run at the defence. And um, also we got Barry Mackay who's uh, very skillful and very capable of um, delivering a good ball in from the left hand side also. I would expect this one to be a very tricky game of the Swans. We don't have the best depth in our squad so it'll be interesting to see whether Potter rotates or whether he mainly sticks with his... Uh, starting 11 in the championship but um, you've got a lot of good quality in your squad if Zaha, if Benteke are playing then uh, I'd say the Swans have very very little chance in this one and they expect Paris to get a good away win probably scoring a few goals on the way pretty say something like 3-1 but uh, it depends uh, what sort of sides both uh, managers put out for the game on Tuesday.